Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3x equals x minus f of x. And we're going to be solving for f of x. We're going to be finding an expression for the function. So this problem is from Bulgaria, which appeared in a book in Romanian. Anyways, that's another story. So we're going to be finding an expression for f of x. To be able to do that, we're going to use substitution, obviously. What else can you use, right? We're going to replace x with first x plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3x. Now, you might be questioning, now, why is that happening? Now, this function is super special. If you pay attention to it, you're going to realize what is going on. But we're going to start by replacing x with that function itself, okay? And when we do that, we're going to get something like this. f of, on the left-hand side, inside the parentheses, we have x plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3x plus 1. And that quantity is divided by 1 minus 3 times the same thing we use for replacement, x plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3x. On the right-hand side, it's easy because we have x, so we're just going to replace x with that. And then the x inside the parentheses is also the same thing. So that's going to be our first equation. We're going to come up with another equation and then we'll solve it as a system. But before that, let's go ahead and simplify here. How do you simplify something like this? Let's go ahead and take that expression, make a common denominator. We're going to get x plus 1 plus 1 minus 3x. And then the denominators are going to be 1 minus 3x. So I don't need to worry about it because they're going to cancel out. And then this one is going to be 1 minus 3x minus 3x minus 3 all over, you know, we don't need that all over because we already canceled it out. Cool. Now, what does this give us? Negative 2x plus 2 divided by, now notice that we have 1 minus 3x minus 3x, and that's going to give us negative 6x minus 2. And obviously, this is something we can simplify, right? To simplify it, let's go ahead and factor out a negative 2 here. That is x minus 1 and factor out another negative 2 here, and that is 3x plus 1. Great. Now let's go ahead and cancel out the negative 2s, and we end up with something like this. So here's what we get from the first equation in the simplest form. f of x minus 1 divided by 3x plus 1 equals x plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3x minus f of x plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3x. Notice that those two things are going to be the same all the time. So this is our first equation. How do we get the second equation? By making another replacement in the original problem. We use this and we got this. Notice it's slightly different than what we actually, never mind, it's the same thing. We got this, that's what I meant. So we got the x minus 1 version. Uh, so we can go ahead and actually now replace x with that because this is going to give you something real cool. Now, if you go ahead and replace x with x minus 1 divided by 3x minus 1 in the original equation, uh, we should get the following. f of x minus 1 over 3x plus 1 plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3 times x minus 1 over 3x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, we're going to replace x with this, right? Uh, in the original problem, of course. So we had x on the right-hand side, so that's going to give us x minus 1 over 3x plus 1. Remember, the original problem I, was like this. Let me rewrite it. So uh, now we're replacing x with this. So this becomes that, and minus f of the same thing. Okay? And when you simplify here, we're going to get another expression. Let's simplify that first. That's going to be x minus 1 plus 3x plus 1, and then denominators are the same, so we don't need to worry about it. And here we're going to get 3x plus 1 minus 3x plus 3, right? So the negative 1 and the positive 1 are going to cancel out. This is going to give us 4x, and these two will cancel out. 1 plus 3 is 4, and yay, we get x from here, which is beautiful because that will be helpful. So that'll be f of x, right, equals x minus 1 divided by 3x plus 1 minus f of x minus 1 over 3x plus 1. This is going to be our second equation. Now let's go ahead and copy the first equation, f of x minus 1 
over 3x plus 1 and then equals x plus 1 minus x plus 1 over 1 minus 3x and then minus f of the same thing. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and look at different things. We have f of x minus 1 over 3x plus 1. We have f of x plus 1 over 1 minus 3x. And then we have the original equation. So let's go ahead and rewrite the first one. And actually, even though that's the original problem, I guess we could call that equation number 3, right? This is number 1 and this is number 3, which is the original equation, by the way. So take a look at this. We do have three variables here, right, inside the parentheses. We have the x, which is going to help us solve for f of x. And then we have this, x minus 1 over 3x plus 1 x minus 1 over 3x plus 1. And then we do have f of x plus 1 over 1 minus 3x. Let's maybe just use a different symbol for that one. Um, I don't know. I'll just use something like this maybe. Okay. So hopefully you get to see what is going on here. We have three variables and three unknowns. We should be able to solve for f of x. In other words, eliminate everything. But to make it a little easier, let's go ahead and call this a and this will be a as well and call this b okay so our goal is going to be eliminate f of a and f of b so we can end up with f of x let's rewrite these one more time with that f of x equals x minus 1 over 3x plus 1 minus f of a and then we get f of a equals by the way you could also use substitution if you want it that's totally up to you that minus f of b and then f of b is equal to x minus f of x. So we have these three equations. We need to get rid of f of a and f of b. So what can we do? For example, if you take these two equations and add them, that'll eliminate, hey, wait a minute, it doesn't eliminate f of b. I was hoping to get something like this. Uh, it doesn't work like that. But uh, one thing we can do is maybe uh, replace f of a. So maybe I'll use substitution. How about this? Take the second equation, take this one, and plug it into this one. So that way, you're going to get rid of f of a and end up with f of x and f of p, and then you can use the third equation with that. Make sense? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. f of x equals x minus 1 over 3x plus 1, and then f of a will be replaced with x plus 1 over 1 minus 3x minus f of p. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and simplify this. So f of x from here is going to be x minus 1 over 3x plus 1 minus x plus 1 over 1 minus 3x plus f of p. Now, we can now replace f of p with something which will be super helpful, and that is this one, x minus f of x. Great. Now, let's go ahead and do that. Replace this with f, x minus f of x, and you're going to have an f of x here and a minus f of x, which you can turn into 2f of x if you add f of x to both sides. So, 2f of x will be equal to the following, x minus 1 over 3x plus 1 minus x plus 1 over 1 minus 3x and then plus x. So here's your goal, to make a common denominator and divide both sides by 2 at the end, and that should give you the answer. I'm hoping that something nice will come out of the numerator so the 2s can just cancel out. And by the way, to make things a little easier on yourself, you can kind of double negate here and write it like this because you want to kind of get, take advantage of the fact that these two are conjugates, okay? So their product is going to be difference of two squares, so on and so forth. But the rest is fairly easy, so it's left as an exercise for you. But I'm going to give you the right answer so you can check your work, but make sure to do the work, okay? Promise. Okay, 9x cubed plus 6x squared minus x plus 2 all over 9x squared minus 1. And you can probably tell that we're going to get that from the product of these two things because the denominator is 1 here. So that's going to be our common denominator. So go ahead and try to do the problem and see if you can get the same answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.